hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to fill color here in canva let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in canva i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go in canva you can fill elements like shapes text and backgrounds with color and it is a powerful tool for enhancing your designs once you're logged into your account you can start by selecting a template that you wanted to work with you can choose social media business print products marketing or video but if you want to start from scratch just click the create a design option in my case i'm going to be choosing the social media I'm going to click on YouTube thumbnail because after recording this video alongside with, with the thumbnail, I'm going to upload it in our G Plus YouTube channel. Now, first off, I'm going to click on a specific file here. All right. Now, one of the ways for you to fill color here in Canva is filling color and shapes. For you to be able to do that, I want you to hover to the elements that is found in the left side panel of your dashboard. I'm going to the shapes right here if you click on see all you have all of these options for example now if you click on a specific shape for example i'm going to be choosing a uh, square maybe a circle and a triangle all right now for you to be able to fill in the color all i'm going to do is choose the shape you have this option that says color of course, you can pick from any colors that you want. You can use a solid color like this. This one, like, if you wanted to have a like a gradient color, you can choose that. Right? And the third one is going to be choosing a gradient right here, if you wanted. Basically, that's how you fill colors and shapes, all right? This is going to be uh, the uh, color picker. You see right here? Now, how about we choose a color for text? If you hover to the left side panel of your dashboard and click the text right here, for example, I'm going to be choosing this specific font style. I'm going to make it like a like hundred so you guys can see it. Now, similarly to the approach of our color picker, click this, click the text color, and of course you can choose from the uh, document color such as this one here you see that you'd be able to choose the uh, color of course you can have a uh, different sizing if you want to add like a border on that you can do so and you can increase the thickness as well now after that if you wanted to fill color for the background you see if you click on the uh, the back you'd be able to see that it's wide right if you put in a different colors you'll be able to put or fill a color in the background as well you can choose multiple options here right depending on your preferences and style right now the next is we're going to fill in colors now this time using the frames all right go again to the elements click on frames If you can't you see the frames right here click on that now you see there's no color right if you want it just put in this and of course you can put so many options for your frames so these are some of your options in filling in a color right now after that if you wanted to add say for example a photo if you hover here if you choose um this uh hold on let me just check how about we choose this one right here we wanted to fill in a color for this specific photo okay click on edit there's gonna be an option for that and you see the effects if you click on it you see there's gonna be a lot of options you can choose the dual tone wherein you can fill in different colors custom you can intense the uh, highlights for example choose another color you see you can choose cherry 
pop, mustard, amber, peppermint, coral, dawn, dusk, and a lot more. Mint chocolate, myrtle, sepia, classic, and mono. So there's a lot that we can work with in terms of the uh, filling in colors, right? Now, not only that, if you go to the elements and you choose something like um, graphics, you see this. If you click on these stickers, for example, uh, this one right here. You see, your options is kind of limited because if you check the border style, you have the border weight, but you can't fill in the color. See that the color is only your options for um, this one. Now, in terms of the gradients and transparency, you can, of course, click on the transparency to kind of like um, make a faded effect here in this section. Now, once you're happy with that, try to click the play button on the upper left corner to see if all of the elements has been filled in with colors. This process works for both free and Canva Pro users, though Pro users have access to more advanced color tools and options. And of course, as you can see, filling background shapes or text boxes with a solid color or contrasting color can improve text readability, especially when placed over busy or complex images. You can use contrasting colors between text and background ensures that your message stands out easily understood by viewers. All right. Of course, you can copy this design. If you wanted to uh, copy that, you can group all of these elements together. If you press on shift and then press the elements um, together, you would notice that you're going to be having an option that says group. Now on the group, you can copy that on the next page right here. You can resize that accordingly to your desires, right? Making it a lot easier. Once you're happy with this design, all you're going to do is click on the share button on the upper right corner. You see, you can download as MP4, as GIF, and if you wanted a sample of JPEG and PNG or even PDF standard or PDF or print, you are welcome to do that. You can also send this collaboration link with anyone can access the design or if you wanted um you're just experimenting with the data you can limit the access of this specific design if you wanted to say uh, share this on social media channels like instagram facebook page twitter and tiktok you're welcome you can also send this as an attachment in via email whatsapp iMessage, and facebook messenger and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one